Hey guys, this is Chris from Chris Productions. I'm doing a 2012 LEGO Star Wars base, and this one is on Geonosis. This one's actually a Spire, um, something that most people haven't done. I do know one person who's done it, but they couldn't actually complete the Spire because it was too awkward, and they ended up using clay, but um, that's a different thing. Um, this one was a huge amount of work, very hard. Um, give you a bit of a sneak peek of it. Um, it's just one-fourth of the Spire, so um, basically, yeah. So I, this took multiple bricklink orders and um, a few, well not really a few tries, but it did take a long time to do this. Just because I thought I had enough pieces, but then I didn't, and then I had to order again, and then I almost ran out of pieces at the end, like I have barely anything left. So um, yeah, but this will help me a lot with my Kashyyyk Ma, because now I know like how I'm going to do the trees, and how I don't actually have enough pieces to do the trees. You guys are like, what? But it's actually true, I don't, now that I'm looking at that. So um. Anyways, so, yeah, let's just get started here. So this happens in between, this whole scene happens in between Season 2, Episode 6, and Episode 7. If I have that cor correct, it's in between Weapons Factory and Legacy of Terror. So what happens is after Anakin, Ahsoka, and Luminara, well, Ahsoka and Beresuffi, blew up the Weapons Factory, the main factory in Geonosis, Poggle escaped and ran to basically this Spire Fortress thing. And, um... Aelith Sakura and Sassy Tin, basically, um, they intercepted, well, they attacked this base right when Poggle got there, and, um, basically, they would win this battle, and they took it out, and then Poggle escapes with an AAT and a few droids in his crates, and then he heads off to the temple. So, basically, that's what happened, that's the outcome of this battle. Um, yeah, so let's just get started here. Um, leading the attack is, um... Well, on one front is Ayla Sakura with two lightsabers, so as she's seen in with episode 3. Because um, I like to be correct like that, because I don't like the Clone Wars version as much. But she should have two lightsabers. Um, and then you got Commander Bly, custom made airy light micro binoculars, just for you guys who don't know. Because there are some people, um, and these blasters are actually Clone Army customs. And those other ones are little arm shops, so if you want to find those, Google it. Like, seriously, don't post stupid comments like that. Um, because the rest of you guys do know. Um, and then the rest of these guys, they're custom painted. Um, now you guys are like, wow, why would you waste clones like that? Um, I can actually just scratch this paint right off, so, yeah. Yeah, you guys see that in most of my mocks, I actually have them painted. Um, here you got a Rancor Battalion, Rancor, yeah, Rancor Battalion, something like that. C or a Camino Arf Trooper. Um, this is a Brick Bear Custom, amazing decal work, and yeah, so he has an arc blaster from Clone Factory, and this guy has a minigun from Clone Factory, so you just got this, um, all these guys are painted, you got a few dead guys, um, now originally the ARF troopers did, um, scout out this base, and they were gonna do a small, um, strike on it, just to take out the command inside the base, and then Poggle arrived, and then Droid Security, flipping arrives, and yeah, and then they died. So this one guy got shot, and the other guys are just going to cover him, and then the reinforcements came in. And yeah. So, um, now on the other front here, or on the other flank, um, you got Sassy Tin, and he has a squad of actual, um, I don't want to call them Genosis Troopers, but these clones were trained, more or less, for a Genosis squad-ish. Um, so that's why their markings are brown, but then again... Or at least not Genosis, but more of a mud planet kind of thing. So you got one dead there, and then you got a dead gunner fell out of the turret when I got shot by one of these cannons, which I'll show you in a second. Um, unfortunately, I did film this video already, and then I took apart this one crash scene. So this Genosis starfighter was actually destroyed right there, like it was on fire and stuff, crap like that. And I, unfortunately, I thought this video was recorded. And then crap happened with my camera, so I had to refill it. Okay, so, yeah, and then you got custom commando. Don't worry, this is this helmet was made use, using a um, previously Sharpie helmet. So, yeah, he's pretty cool. Genosis commando. Um, trained for Genosis. Second battle of Genosis. Um, yeah, let's just see. Um, underneath this ATOT here, you can barely see it. There's a, another ARF trooper with a rocket launcher. And he's just he just arrived here um, with these guys in the ATOT in the all-terrain 
something transport, troop transport, I don't know. Oops. That's A T T E. A T. I'm not gonna get into that. Um. <laughs> yeah. So this uh, one more off trooper just arrived. He's a medic. He has a thing above, scalpel and a syringe, and his bandolier, and then he has a gun on the back of it too. So yeah. Um, we got an ACTE, another ACTE, this one's shot, so it's collapsed in the front, and then this one's gunner is aiming at Gino scenes. Now, let's go on to the Gino scenes. So you got three there, and then you actually have four flying in. One, two, three, four. Oh, um, yeah, they were, they were not too hard to come by because of the new battle pack and people, or the new battle pack, the new cannons, and lots of people got them because they're decently cheap, and I just, um, Lots of people actually got two, and then traded me the Geno scenes. Well, two people did anyway, so I don't actually own a real cannon. These are just ones that I bought off of Bricklink. So if you guys are looking for the cannons and not the figures, recommend Bricklink. You can get them for $3 or something like that for just the cannon. So I thought that was pretty good. And then, um, of course, you got a whole bunch of battle droids. Um, you know, when you look at it, there's a whole bunch, and yet there's a whole bunch that are dead. Probably half of them are dead, something like that. You got a dwarf spider droid, you got supers, you got another dwarf, and um, yeah. These Geno scenes are flying. Um, yeah. So now on to a bit of the layering and then right onto the spire. So um, you got some layering there. I just want to show this off a bit. Um, you got a thing of layering that goes there. Layering, layering. You got, and it goes up one brick each time or one plate each time. And then there. And then here it just goes up a whole brick. And then there's two cannons. One of which has shot the ATTE. And now we go on to the ridiculously huge spire. So this is the. Ow. Oh no, I stepped on Mr. Far. It's a sad face. Um. Yeah, so there's the spire. Now just remember this is one fourth of the spire, it's one quarter of it. So yeah. Um. Yeah, so now this did take multiple Bricklink orders because I was stupid like that and just didn't realize how many pieces it would take. Um. Yeah, so like, and it always looks stupid from there, but you know, I thought of this as a complete failure until I actually came and looked at the video and looked at it from right here, and it looks amazing. Like, it actually looks like a round dome-ish kind of thing, and then, you know, if that was connected with another four parts, that would look really realistic. So, um, yeah, so just take a look at that. It actually is pretty decent, um, a lot better than I thought it was. Um, now, I was on the verge of collapsing when I was finishing it so there are a few small cracks in there as you can tell because this entire roof just about caved in but I solved that problem with the pillar <laughs> it's a part pillar so um yeah let's go to the inside now um as you can tell I'm actually sick right now so that would fail so yeah let's go to the inside you got two security droids two more security droids one of which is the commander one and he is awesome but he <laughs> He's from like 2001 or 1999. He's from Jedi Defense 1 or 2, I can't remember. Um, this is a speeder that Poggle arrived in because he's awesome like that. And uh, there's two main guards there who obviously stay to fight the Jedi. They don't, they don't go with Poggle because, yeah. But anyway, so these guys, when these Jedi are occupied fighting these droids, that's why Luminara goes out to track Poggle. Plus, yeah, he just escapes with the tank, which is somewhere in the other three quarters of this mock. <laughs> which I don't have made. Um, and now, yeah, so you got Poggle, and you got his Genosian buddy, and yeah. So now there's one other thing. Um, these zombies. Now, I don't use them as zombies because they are so close to the old Genosians. Everything but their white eyes makes them look like an upgraded version of that guy. So, you know, honestly, I'm using these guys as regular, like the ones that are inside the buildings. I, I think that the outer... Like the outside Genosians, when they're outside in the light, they look like this, but when they're inside, they look like this. Like, if you look at episode 2, they really do look like this. So, um, yeah, I'm using these guys. Um, even if I have to, I might actually paint in their eyes somehow with magical paint and um, make them so they're not looking like zombies as much. Anyways, yeah, so at the bottom of each of these pillars, you know, you kind of got some detail. Um, and then on top of those control panels, more detail. So yeah, and um, yeah, so this is my last minute support pillar. As you can see, this is the structure, and there's four pillars holding up. Now it was collapsing, so 
the horse is starting to fall apart. And then this is my last minute support beam, and um, it goes up there. So yeah, um, as yeah, you can tell it was falling apart. Okay, so um, rate, comment, subscribe, guys. Please thumbs up this video if you guys like this. I hope you guys like this. Um, yeah, uh, I'm starting a new series of mocks. And the first one will be out soon. I'm going to California next week for Easter holidays. So I'm actually going to go to Legoland and go to the Lego store. And I'm getting a whole bunch of bricks. So I can do my next series of mocks better. Um, yeah. So, and preparing for Kashyyyk too. So, other than that guys, um, that's pretty much all everything i got to say. So look forward to the next mock. And I will do another Genosis after this. So this was my first attempt. So, um, yeah. So, please thumbs up this video. Like this video, and this has been another one of my 2012 mocks. I'm gonna try to turn these more into a, you know, like what year they are kind of thing, because I just looked and I made playlists of 2011 and 12 mocks. So, yeah. Um, I'd say that this is probably the second good mock of the year. Um, the first, those first two snow mocks were not good in my opinion compared to this. Um, even this isn't too good. Um, I, I really haven't impressed myself with anything yet that, that I think is really good. But I did not mind the slanting thing. Anyways, you go check out my previous video. This is in a playlist, so you guys can just go look at other um, mocks that I have. So, thumbs up this video, and see you guys later. Rate, comment, subscribe, and it's Chris Productions. See you guys later.